things in the world. I put it on everything, chicken, chips, whatever you want. But uh, I'm going to talk about the basic ingredients for what one of the ones that I like to do most, and that is set aside the sour cream. You can put it in there, but this is really what I work with. A little bit of serrano chili can be jalapeno, lime, very important to create the balance. Salt and lime together, very, very important to be in balance. And then, of course, avocado. I use, instead of onion or garlic, I use a little shallot. Of course, cilantro, plenty of fresh cilantro, and then some cumin. Now, I'm going to go right away into toasting some cumin. I'm going to put a couple tablespoons in this pan, dry pan. You can see that smoking. It's ready to go. All right, you don't want to burn it. Keep it moving, keep it moving. There we go. That's done. That's our toasted cumin, baby. Now again, if you burn it, it becomes bitter. So I'm going to use that a little bit later, and that will be part of the bump and the seasoning part. The other thing is avocados. How do you deal with these things? Very simple. Go to the store. If they're rock hard, they're not good. If they're too soft or if they have hollow pieces, you feel like it's hollow around here, it's probably going to have, the, you know, when they get dented or start to get bruised, those hollow pieces will come up. Firm, but you, you can kind of squeeze it and get your finger into it. Don't want to over crush it. From top to bottom, just give it a good cut. <clears throat> just twist it like that. Boom. Now to get the seed out, very simple. Put it down on a table like this. Tap it with this. Twist it. There you go. Now to get all of this out, it's very, very easy. Make sure you get the, uh, sometimes that core is there, just remove that. I'm just going to do like I was slicing it inside here, okay? And I'm going to slice it this way. Be very careful with your knife not to cut through. Then all you have to do is squeeze it, okay? Boom. There it comes. Squeeze it out. Boom, boom, boom. Spoon's another way to do it. Just go right in there and scoop it out. Either way is effective. I like the spoon method, but I like to show the other one because it sometimes gives a chunkier effect. You know, it kind of pre-cuts it, it pre-cubes it. Now I'm going to go right into uh, chili peppers. Everyone wants to know how to deal with these things. It's kind of difficult uh, because if you get your bare hands on it, it will eventually, if you rub your eyes or any sensitive skin, it will burn you. So you have to be very, very careful about this. So I'm going to just take a regular paring knife. I'm going to take the top off and then I'm going to slice it down long ways, okay? And um, now what I do here is slice it quarter, quarter it, and then I flatten the knife out like this and just, just lay, lay it right on here and just pull it. It's just like you're flaying the skin of a fish or something. So I'm taking the pith and the seeds out. So I'm just going to slice these really thin. Those That would be called julienne. We're probably gonna, not going to use all of this, but I'd just go ahead and do all of it. And the more you mince it, the, the, more, the more better distribution it will be in your guacamole. So here we go. That's about how fine you want to do it. Again, don't rub your eyes or any sensitive skin with this when you're done because it is brutal and it doesn't go away. The most important thing is the balance of acidity and richness. So the richness is coming from these avocados. Now I'm going to quickly just, you know, fork mash them. I like a very rough avocado, a rough guacamole, not pureed. You can put all of this right into a uh, food processor and puree it if you'd like. Uh, I'm going to start building it a little bit and build it slowly. So I'm just going to put like a probably a quarter teaspoon in there of that and then I like a fair amount of this but this is, this is again a seasoning so I'm going to probably put a half teaspoon of toasted cumin in there and then a couple pinches of salt. Eventually there will be a quarter to a half teaspoon of this amount of guacamole. Salt is important. You've got to really boost it up with salt. Now I've squeezed some lime juice. It must be fresh. If it's not fresh, it will be bitter. And you might think, why am I not putting, why am I going to put some shallots in this and not garlic? Because garlic is great when it's fresh, but as it, as the, it ages or hits oxygen, or if you aren't going to eat this guacamole right away, it gets really intense and it takes over the whole flavor of the guac. It takes over the whole flavor of most dishes. Now, these are just leaves of cilantro. I picked these leaves up. It's, it's kind of a rough country dish, so you don't really need to chop it heavily. You can just cut it up roughly, because I like big, big clumps, chunks of cilantro in here. And you can also actually, if you, I pick just the leaves off, but you can throw some, you can pretty, pick it pretty roughly and have some, some stem in there. Again, it's a very rough deal. It's country. 
So you see that? That's going to bring a balance of flavor in there. Now it's starting to come together, okay? What am I missing? I already got a little of this, a little of that. And okay, now I'm going to taste. I'm going to be in the taste test for this thing. Make sure I have enough salt and whatnot. It's pretty good. Might need a little bit more acidity. A little more lemon, lime juice, and we are done. Oh, why not? A little toasted cumin. Love the toasted cumin. So that is my guacamole. Let's try it again. Woo! Mmm, hot. Kind of. Nice. That's my guacamole. You can put it on chips, chicken, or fish. You ever tried basting it on a hot fish right off the grill? It is so good. Give it a whirl.